Life Audio. Hello, thank you for listening to your daily Bible verse, the podcast that examines one verse each day to learn more about God and His will for us. I'm your host, Carol McCracken, and after a short word from our sponsor, we'll dive into today's Bible verse, Psalm 112.7. Today's Bible verse is Psalm 112.7. They will have no fear of bad news. Their hearts are secure. They will have no fear. I really don't like surprises. It's probably because they aren't usually good. I was triggered today by receiving a bill from the IRS. Let me just say that anything with IRS on it automatically makes my stomach clench. Why? I really don't know. I've never been in trouble and always pay what I owe. There's no problem with that for me. However, let's be clear. I'd rather receive a refund. I live on a budget. I'm a minister and a wedding planner working both jobs to make ends meet. I don't have bunches of extra money lying around, so I try to be prudent. But I just got a bill from my tax year of 2021. Do they not have enough staff that I'm just now getting the bill? Oops, gotta watch that trigger. My humanity's trying to get out. There's an increase in this tax bill, an increase in credit for tax withheld, and a decrease in credit and interest, with $535.99 apparently due by April 15th. So I sent an SOS to my accountant, who manages the crazy situation in my two jobs. And I wait. Then I realized I needed to stop the anxious thoughts somehow, and I wasn't doing a very good job of it. We've all been there, haven't we? There was a time in my life when I would have gone into a tailspin, but I noticed I wasn't. Something was working. So I took a breath and consciously tried to direct my thoughts to something more productive. First, I began to think about my prayer partner who frequently mentioned God will provide. Whether it was answers, next steps, or monetary resources, God would provide them and it wasn't up to her to fix everything. I highly recommend having a godly friend who gives good advice and prays for you. And then I got today's verse. It comes from a psalm. The term psalm referred initially to a stringed instrument and then to songs. Telhalim is the Hebrew word that means prayers. The book of Psalms is a collection of many prayers and songs that pretty much sum up every kind of emotions one can have. And they recognize who God is and what he does. Psalm 112 speaks about the godly. How does someone get to where they have no fear of bad news? They trust in God and who he is. It gets back to verse 1 in the psalm. Praise the Lord. Blessed are those who fear the Lord, who find great delights in his command. To fear the Lord is to have reverential awe of him. He's the creator of all things, including you and me. He's the God Almighty who gives us breath and movement of our bodies. And he has the greatest love for us, more than we can truly understand. And recognizing that he keeps all things in play, we obey his commands. Because his commands guide us on how to live a godly life is evidence that we're followers of his son, Jesus. The commands delight us, the verse teaches we are constrained. We aren't missing out on something. We don't fear bad news because God is in charge. As you get to the point that it's a relief to me that I'm not in charge, but sometimes my need for control gets in the way. My need to control comes out of fear. When I recognize that and don't judge it, it helps me turn to the one who's in charge more quickly. In the recovery community, we learn that our best chance of overcoming our habits, destructive thought patterns, and hurts is to keep our eyes on God. And God is always with us, and He gives us wisdom. Fear of the Lord is wisdom, and just as the psalmist observed then, we can make the same observations today. Bad news is around us all the time. 
If you aren't experiencing it yourself, you know the challenge of someone close to you who's received a bad health diagnosis, for example. Just reading the headlines of our news this morning, there were shootings, stabbings, drug busts, wrecks, and bad city management causing housing and utility problems. I have a cousin who keeps the news on 24-7 and is experiencing fear. And this is an election year in a country that's experiencing polar extremes with misinformation abounding. And the psalmist says, we do not fear bad news. Some things never change. The Old Testament had oppression and challenging politics, uprisings, slavery, and murders. Why? Because they lived in a broken world due to the consequences of sin, just as we do now. Do you think God's surprised? I maintain he is not. It's all part of his plan. And God asks us to trust him. He also knows we're human and that we have the emotion of fear. He knew we'd battle the very thoughts we have. But fear and awe of the Lord as we get to know who he is helps us rest in him and to not fear bad news. Let's pray. Dear Lord in heaven, we thank you for who you are and what you do, even when we lose track of it sometimes. Sometimes we have the wrong kind of fear, the fear that we must be in control and solve everything that happens. But you're never surprised. And Lord, you see the big picture and you know exactly how things are going to turn out. And Lord, you said you provide and that we don't need to fear bad news. And when we catch ourselves doing it in our humanity, let us forgive ourselves and quickly turn to you, the one who is in charge. Lord, soothe our anxious thoughts. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. 